Hi everyone. Today we're happy to have the Hong Kong Karate team members here with us. Hi, I'm Man Song. Hi, I'm Lulu Wu. So when I watch karate, I notice free fights and routine. What is the difference between them? Well, those are the two subcategories for karate. For karate routine, usually there's one or three competitors on stage to perform a series of movements, and the winner is decided by its power and speed. As for free fights, it's the karate fight between two fighters only, and the winner is decided by who got the most points within three minutes. Oh, I see. Well, let's get started. First of all, we will do pectoral muscle stretches to warm up our body. You can either do this with a partner or just lean against the wall to perform this. I will demonstrate this with my partner. Facing each other with your right arms bent. Press your right arms against your partner. Front leg bent and back leg straight. Slowly lean your upper body forward. Hold this position for 10 to 15 seconds for every side. We'll do the other side now. Complete this for once and we're done for our warm up. Today we'll be doing a karate arm movement called knife hand strike. First off, stand with shoulder width apart. For this karate movement, we should open our palms with the four fingers sticking together and place our thumb close to our palm. For knife hand strike, it is used to attack our opponent's head, so we will be hitting at our eye level. Make a fist for your back hand. Let's split this into two parts. First, place your back hand near your ear and open your palm. Then, return your front hand to your waist and strike with your back hand, just in front of your head. Let's do this once more. Again, remember to strike in front of you in order to hit the neck of your opponent. Don't strike too long. Do this slowly when you start off to get more familiar with this movement. As you are more comfortable, you can increase the speed. At the end of the strike, hold your hand tightly so they don't sway to other positions. You can increase your power too. For every set, do 10 fast strikes and then 10 slower strikes. Repeat this for 3 times. The actual use of the knife hand strike is to use your back hand, which is your fist. To block your opponent's straight punch and pull him towards you. And then you can perform the knife hand strike, hitting more accurately on his neck. Now, let's stretch our deltoid to pull down our arms. Place your right hand straight across your chest and pull it with your left arm closely towards your body. We are stretching the deltoid of our right arm. You can also move your straight arm higher or lower to target different parts of the deltoid. Hold this for 15 to 20 seconds for each side. So we did some arm movements today. What are we going to do tomorrow? We'll be teaching you guys karate leg stance together with some arm movements tomorrow. See you!